Lot of British, Martin Lietke speaking. Hi right, guys, it's good to see you. It really is good to see you. In these insane times <laughs> that we find ourselves in. But at least we're all in the same boat. But unfortunately, fear will indeed sink this boat, guys. Okay, so Martin has come here to show you how to love and not fear. Okay. Fear will destroy. Fear will make you ill. Fear kills. And they're banking on that. Okay, so fuck all that. We don't do that on Flat Earth British, guys. We do not do that. And I tell you what, we only have happy endings too. Okay, that is a prime directed of Flat Earth Britishness. It's happy endings. Okay, so we're not doing that bullshit. In my mind, because um, I'm... Flat British, and I've been a trooper for many, many years now. I think at this time in my life, there is never no better time in my life, okay, to resist and tell the people the truth of what I think about it all, okay, which I've been doing, guys, for years now, for years, okay. I just wrote a book on what's happening now. You know, this book um, clearly shows you fascist technology, which is EM, electromagnetic technology, 5G, explains in this book that the Phoenicians reset this place. Okay, guys, the controllers reset this place. They have killed trillions before us. This is maybe deliberate or a natural, is that an orb? A natural cycle and that is out of all of our control and they make they have the control have the best of it enslave all the rest keep them dumbed down so they never work it out flat of british peeps worked this out years ago didn't we which i'll show you now so it's been a good week weird okay um the good bit was i got my channel back okay i got my old channel back if you don't know um i did have a channel crows making the right din <laughs> I did have a channel back last time but it got hacked, there's a long story but I had 28 and a half thousand subscribers, okay but now I've got my channel back and there's 19,000 on there, okay. hit this day, so thank you for that I'll show you all about it now um, and this channel as well, 13,000 subscribers this week so, kerching on the subscriber front, which is very good timing myself, I have been Asking the creator of the most high, um, this is the time that you <laughs> really need to tell me what is going on or, or more to the point, what am I supposed to do? Um, because, you know, I think that I am put here on earth to for a very, very specific reason. Okay, I think I know. And that is what I do. Okay, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to bring out the truth. So what we're going to cover in this, we're going to look into what could be going on. Okay, guys, now, 5G, okay, mm, it's very, very persuasive. We'll look at it tomorrow on my next post, okay? I got a very, very mind-blowing narrative about 5G. Now, in my mind, I think, well, wouldn't they be poisoning themselves with radiation as well? You know, the elites and shit. You know, got Trumpskis there. Um, wouldn't he be getting bombarded with these uh, electromagnetic waves at the same time? Get fried like everyone else? Now, this footage that's coming out I've been seeing for about a year now since I first saw one of birds falling like fuck out of the sky with 5G getting like fried so are they just going to do that and fry the entire slave class you know my mind's well they've been fattening up the cattle for quite some time yum yum <laughs> guys it's bigger than us I fear is foolish what we really 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 need to do more than anything else for our families for our loved ones is align ourselves inside guys okay get at one with the creator okay make amends if it happens <laughs> okay it's important to keep your vibration up okay it's important to see the humor and um, ignore their utter bullshit we can't believe anything they say guys Okay, we just can't. Okay, at your own peril, believe what they're telling you. Okay, they want you to see they got endless amounts of armies, you know, mobilizing. You know, I think they don't let this shit slip out. There's so many 
red herrings that we are all scratching our heads off of the real happening. Now, I've been following a code for years called the Melancholia Code. Melancholia is from Middle Ages depictions. Melancholia lies in wait. Melancholy bored with it all, waiting for the comet to come through and destroy. Before the comet arrives, it brings disease and pestilence. How does it do this? Because it causes changes in the atmosphere, in the electromagnetics, alters us, alters our DNA, alters all of reality. This might explain why we see these images of the 1600s and the whole of the post-apocalyptic world is chowing down on one another. Other, other areas are worshipping strange demonic deities, but only a few hundred years ago. Now in my mind, I've mentioned a hundred times, I think they switched off history like they've just switched off the economy. Start it back up at a later date after all this shit's over with introduce some of a new bullshit history a helocentric model where they think they're on a spinning fucking ball they will never work this out because they won't be able to measure it because we're having all locked down now in my mind people are waking up people are scratching their head not really buying what they're telling you on the telly because the evidence is not really there is it Okay, they have endless amounts of money, and don't worry, they will look after you. So if you've been like, you know, you just run out of your money, which most have by now, and you haven't paid your rent, which most haven't by now, because you haven't got your wages, because you haven't been at work, and they've promised you they won't evict your ass, and they won't ask you and bug you or anything later on, yeah, because they're so fucking kind. How did they get kind all of a sudden? Yeah, they haven't been kind ever. I've been here 52 years, they've been bastards to me. I, I, they have not been kind, okay? And they're not to anybody, as far as I've seen. Unless you got fucking that, and you're one of them. As far as I can see. Okay? Now. Oh, did I rant? So we're going to be looking into 5G tomorrow. And today, we're going to look into Blue Kachina. Kachina. Blue Kachina and Huppy Prophecy, which we talked about, again, on Flat of British. And they want us to think, or oh, no, and if this is true, we're going to all know about it very soon, the next month, there will be a blue comet, which fits with the Hopi prophecy. And what have we been prostrating on Flat Earth British for years now of a cometary, comety reset. Okay, is that a reality? Well, I hope not. But if it is, it's out of our hands and we should be getting spiritually aligned. If it's not, and it's 5G, and they want to fucking fry us all, um, I can't see how that would be productive. Maybe if they kill just a few million, a hundred million, but billions die in? Maybe. Maybe. It's all out of our control, guys. They got us. They got us down a blind alley. We got nowhere to run. Stuck in, in house arrest, like sitting ducks waiting for what? Yeah? Waiting for what? They want the fucking public. they got to get going on in America now. You've got to go out and blow your trumpet. Yeah? So meet with biblical revelation. Yeah? Blow your trumpet and thank the health services for doing such an astounding job watching all these empty hospitals and sending people home. They're doing a brilliant job in it. Astounding. Now, they are really having a laugh at us, guys, and I will show you on my next post how, you know, they are really having a laugh at us, okay? They must be in fucking stitches. This coming to me this morning, might find of interest. Lots to cover in this vlog, by the way. Make sure to share it out. Make sure I'm going to link up my new channel, which we're going to look at now, in the descriptions blocks below this. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to be going through there. It's going to be very, very fucking juicy. Okay. <sighs> I've heard a few people go cracking up a little bit, you know, it's a bit stir crazy. But like, I spent years in the Merchant Navy, guys. I spent like donkey's years, right, literally, in a small like control room, in a, in a, basically a car seat. <laughs> like literally slept on the steel plates on the floor. I used to wake up and I used to have crosses like here off the oil on the plates on the floor off my face, on my face. <laughs> so, and I've been like sort of, you know, isolating off, you know, the sheep. Off. 
for quite some time because they drive me fucking nuts talking at a drivel constantly. But I am a hugger and I do like human interaction big time. So that is really fucking hard on us all. You know, they don't, you know, they're going to try and keep this up, guys. You ever seen the film Equilibrium? Yeah, where the kid grasses on his father for not taking that drug. Yeah, that's what they're going to do now. They got fucking Gestapo kids, fucking people phoning, saying he wasn't back. He was out three hours. He never went on a 1.5 kilometre walk. He was gone three hours. It would only take him hmm, maybe 33 minutes. <laughs> Fuck that. Everyone's spying on everyone else, feeding everyone else. Who wants to live in a realm like that? Yeah? Something needs to be done, guys. Something has to be done. Yeah? Right, let's have a look at our shit. Right. Now, if this come in, I'm you know, just going to sidetrack them with my head. What happens. Now, I was supposed to be in a convention in a couple of weeks, or a week's time, in Birmingham for Truth Juice. Truth Juice have been around quite some time, they're a truth, truth in organisation. Uh, so we've like rearranged it for later, yeah, so it's always good to look forward. And keep up the good work, thank you very much, Andy. Okay, but this is what he says. Now, I can't verify this because I don't watch Globe Shields, but... If you have seen it, could you link it up in the description box for all flat of British? I haven't got time to watch all that. Okay, we work. So, this is what it is. It says. It says, I've been watching Joe Rogan and Eddie Bravo mention your work and John Levy as his sources for The Last Reset. So, Eddie Bravo. I fucking love Eddie Bravo. I'm not sure about your, your mate. Yeah? A bit of a joker smoker, isn't he? But Eddie fucking Bravo. I love him. It just fucking rocks. Hope he comes and hangs out. So yeah, apparently I was mentioned on there. Would like to see that if it's if it's or work mentioned, more like. But that would be epic if uh, that was a reality. No, we got to get this fucking words out, guys. Okay, this is what truthers do. Okay, it's not all about just turning out videos after videos. I've been warning. I've been wrote a book to tell you all, guys. We broke the code. This is a reset cycle. Okay, this place has been reset over and over again. Trillions have died before us, and they're all below our feet. This place is mud flooded. Now, the comet could, you know, different ones have happened in different ways. Some pass through, agitating the EM, causing volcanoes, earthquakes, tidal waves. Okay, the, ser the serpent is the waveform that passes through this place, of course, from that in the air. Okay. Or it could fragment, break up, and hit, causing tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanoes, liquefaction, and mud flood. So, resetting civilization. It's what the literature of the old world tells us. Okay? <laughs> it happened. Plasma discharge events, biblical floods might not be two separate occasions and two separate ways of cleansing this place. They might be all one in one go. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, we'll have a look at some of the evidence. And as I said, next time, we're going to be looking into um, 5G and other stuff. Okay, so we've got monsters of information on this. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to subscribe to our new, exciting, new look channel, which is fucking epic. I'll all be explained now, if you're wondering. I absolutely love the title. It's so me. It's on me. This is. Show you not. The, the Celtic Tatarian Channel. Ta da! The first time ever uttered by my mouth on a live vlog in history. So I've hit 19,000 subscribers since um, I got it back. Now, this just like battered a couple of days. I had to literally delete 8,000 uh, Chinese fucking cartoons. Yeah, off my vlog. Uh, I'm off my channel. Um, 20, 30 at a time, so that took took a long time, days. Um, I think I might have accidentally deleted maybe a month or two of my channel, not looking, I'm doing it on autopilot, but it doesn't really matter. They're all on a hard drive, and I put most of them up on Flat Earth British Think Tank channel anyway. So it starts eight months ago, so I think I lost maybe two months, I'm not sure. But anyway, all my channel's back, a thousand plus videos. Guys, if you don't know about my channel, look, check how fucking juicy this is and how prophetic Flat with British peeps are. 
The last video I done was Ghost City, Castle City. This one's in Turkey, empty, ready, ready for occupants, guys. Just like the Chinese. Hmm? Oh, 5G fascia's reset to bedlam. About the mental illness being caused through 5G or fascia's technologies causing agitation in the atmosphere, making people go potty. That's one thing it does. Um, and causing um, flu-like symptoms. Ring a ring a rosies, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Because she got, they got a cold and they die of it. Because it's nothing new under the sun. This technology has been all along and I'll show you now. Okay, this is the way they do it. It's more, it's not just 5G. They could be holding the dome in place with the chemtrails playing for time. The 5G may be adding to the acoustic sound that could possibly hold the water dome in place and stop the fucking thing coming down. Uh, coupled with this blue comet. So blue, why is it made of ice? Is it? Or is it in water? In the firmament? Or outside? It's gonna come and smash through. Um, chicken licking. Bringing the sky down. So I've been talking about this for a year and in this vlog I say to you, I warn you all, I say 5G will kill everyone. In this vlog, a year ago, history repeating itself about the cyclical reset nature of this place. How do we know? The evidence is on the ground. The mudflood buildings, the older buildings, the pyramids, all of these ancient antiquity from a higher culture than ourselves right now. We did not build this beautiful shit, okay? We can't build this beautiful shit. We build shit is what we build. Taking the spells out of phony, the phonetics, this language, which I will bastardize as much as I possibly can, okay? This is a magic spell. This is fucked. That C word is a magic spell. The V itself, the vi -er us word, the via us word, via us word is a magic spell. But check the views out on these anyway, they're just insane. So the conf Configuration, conflagration of Earth. Look at this. Reset signs. Atmospheric phenomena. Bacchusite's ball. Uh, Emerald Tabra. Sinking at Tataria. Paradigm shifts, which is what we're in now, in every sense of the word. Everything's changed and never go back to the old way. And a whole new way of existing is upon us. Brave new world, just like the fucking book. I ain't cut out for that. I ain't cut out to. I did did not consent. I did not sign up for this shit. I did not consent to this legal name fiction or anything they have proposed. They are evil, and the people have had enough. I have had enough as well of their bullshit. It has to fucking end. Plasma events and the phonies rising. Okay, and then all of the greatest secret never told. Living water. Um, Phoenician scourge talking about them resetting Tataria. Live, Fasches, EM, Tech, explained. It's all explained in the book as well. And now it's happening. So I had to update and find out everything I can. I've seen these videos about their installing it, you know, like that's priority right now. But more than that, guys, my entire neighborhood is covered in the waterworks. They're digging up the road and fucking around with the water. They were in my street yesterday. So is that priority? Maybe with everyone left in their houses or are they doing something to the water? In the film Contagion, they talk about infecting the water supply with the disease and giving it all to us in the water supply. So drink your bottle of water and distill it if you can. So look at the views on these guys. It's just insane. You know, uh, Patagonian giants, 28,000, 25, 18, 22, 25, 37, 38, thousand views 28 25 37 32 27 55 thousand uh, the controllers we found yeah, they were the Phoenicians uh, 20 thousand geez look at the views on all of these 38 thousand 42 thousand 37 thousand every video 
just insane but um guys the content is there guys it's amazing if you want to know more about fascist technologies i suggest you watch the synopsis of the greatest secret never told it's five hours long but it is massively mind-blowing and a lot of content of that went into this book as well okay so and you can see we've been talking about the somatic windows and churches fascist watch that one there 51,000 a year ago and it will give you an idea of what they're doing now okay um they're ramping up of 5g which i've known all along was fucking dangerous but it's happened before and it'll happen again okay moving on so let's have a look at this blue kachina for an idea of the hopi prophecy because apparently there's one on the way so frank waters right into the hopi mythology the blue star kachina or sasquatchahu which i definitely pronounced might be right um is the kachina or spirit that will signify the coming of the beginning of the new world by appearing in the form of a blue star the blue star kachina is said to be the ninth and final sign sign before the day of purification described as apocalypse or a word engulfing a world engulfing cataclysm that will lead to the annihilation of earth and that is the Hopi prophecy the Hopi Indian okay and it just so happens that the thing is guys you know I we need to face up to things they've just locked a whole of humanity down you can't make this shit up if somebody had said that to you a year ago you had told them they were fucking nuts nothing like that could ever ever happen yeah yeah here we are all locked in all under house arrest everyone everyone is not locked out for an hour or you could get nicked or tasered or fined or what have you a friend yeah they won't have you go into public places they put black dye in the blue lagoon lake in t in Derbyshire so the locals didn't go and enjoy the countryside the police did that guys you know that's an environmental disaster this is, is anyone going to be accountable for this following people on beaches fucking see if they've been walking they're just nuts how many people are put up? everyone's putting up with that it just fucking gobsmacks me so here it is right it's a blue uh, stars a few people have been talking about it but you know I've been talking about it for years but look at the name guys C220 so we're in 2020 C20 19 C19 are you fucking joking me they give you the name of the fucking virus C19 you can make this shit up get ready for bright comet atlas c 2019 obviously the year it was maybe discovered but still c19 uh the north in the northern uh, the northern sky i guess but anyway we're supposed to be seeing it uh, very soon and it's currently the brightest comet of 2020 and can be found in the constellation of Camel Paradalis with binoculars and telescopes. Expect to see the comet will continue to brighten and it's possible to see the comet may come visible to naked eye sometime in April and May. So we'll get to see it soon. May have nothing to do with it, no bearing. I've seen Hale Bop um, and that didn't do anything to us. Okay, but it's just funny that it's blue. Bits of Hopi prophecy, and they just locked the whole of humanity and mobilized all the troops. Okay, but maybe you know the name of it, Kachina, K A China, what kill all China? Fuck me. Maybe that's what the Great Wall was for. If it was a virus, maybe it was for keeping their virus in. Maybe we built it to keep them in, keep the virus in. But it's the technology, and the virus is in us, isn't it? Melancholia code is a code that we picked up on, I don't know, maybe three years ago now. I've uh, got the picture up on the wall behind me. I've always been intrigued with it. But what you find in a lot of this era, it will always talk about um, an apocalyptic biblical reset. And you get these turning up, okay, these little Cherubnuskis. And here he is, okay, maybe Thames, Zeus, you know, with a comet in his hand, okay? And you have Zeus, yes. 
We eagle. He's on an eagle. Eagle got a child underneath it by the look of it. Um, and he's holding a, uh, a plasma event or a fasces. Okay. So the comet, the fasces. So he's under the dome and he's under the constellations. His place is purified and it's reset and there's no way out. I don't think the elite's bunkers are going to help him, as you can see here. Somebody's died, and everyone else is just falling and ill. Okay, in a reset depiction, showing you that it's comet related, and there's just so many. I could show you literally hundreds that will show you. We've been look what you know, guys. You've been coming here long enough, a lot of you, of weather manipulation seems to be deliberate even in the past so this is um, I guess a Jewish model of earth um, and you have the ether all under the dome I think it's more cubid, cubic and obviously the new world isn't in there so it's like a post flood world everything else is covered in water this might be accurate maybe everything was underwater <laughs> chaos below and tartary tartary below that so, a bit of bad publicity about the Tartars, very possibly. So, here we go again with the alchemy. Now, this alchemy, this is an alchemy reset, okay? This um, strange magic. They've just got everyone on in a magic spell. And everyone is just batshit crazy, acting totally fucking full on retard. And, you oh, I just can't even handle it can't dig that in the future all that bullshit i don't give a fuck about any fucking virus yeah i'm immune to the fucking law yeah because it's in there it's all there guys everything is fucking mind people fucking cure themselves of cancer through placebo effect it's belief it's knowing and never doubting this is our realm guys malleable we do it okay not them they just created a fuckload of evil thought forms when you see these allegories i'm going to look at one of them a famous one in a minute these allegories they show you with these demonic thought forms they create them and they give them to us they're not in a physical form as such they're in our minds created by them so as you get rain flood in this case a tidal wave and you get the many-headed hydra which is also like the one you get in uh, Book of Revelations as well. A serpent with many heads, isn't it? So the Book of Revelations is fitting. So there you go, they come. This is um, a bit dura, dura, but it's like a survivor symbol. And there's the orb again. And there's your Phoenicians. Not sure what this is. Okay. And they're very, very weird looking Phoenicians. They're like not really human. They just don't look like us. And this I have on my wall by bed. It's one of my favourite pictures. It's from the 1700s. And it's a view of Earth. And what they show you is you get the map circling around you in an azimuth or equidistance. So looking downwards so accurate flat earth map <laughs> and you get outwards and it shows you the crops the seasons all in an alchemical thought but then outside there okay if i can show you is fire all the way around outside inside there is the constellations so you get taurus the bull and inside with the constellations you get comets yeah and the comets are shown to be weapons okay some of them are swords some of them are um, just weapons showing you excuse me sorry showing you these things are actually weapons the dragon so this is a brilliant uh, map I absolutely love this I've studied it endlessly yeah. all the comets I literally Stacks and stacks and stacks. Sword comet. This one. Ones that look like spears. The flaming pot. Also comet allegory. Okay. Comets. And there's been an increase in shooting stars as well. And plasma events. And all sorts. 
just lately. But I guess if we get a few shudders, um, earthquakes start, then we're going to know that we're in for it. If it could just pass over and not be anything, great. All fucking merrier. Get back on with our lives. But what lives? With a load of paranoid fucking zombies out there with a crashed economy. No food. Mass starvation. So this is going to feed in a giant. Um, I've got a book of giants we're going to look into. I dug out. I mean, my next post tomorrow on the Celtic Tatarian channel. So, he might be a bit demanding, but keep him going with the food and everything's just a okay. Be cool, isn't it? Now, the sun and the moon are not right. <laughs> the moon went missing for a while. Hundreds of you sort of reported back. I got reports from the Pacific to New Zealand to Australia, South America, North America, all over Europe, that it was nowhere to be seen for five days. Then it reappeared. Now, I'm completely aware of the new moon. I'm a flat earther. But, you know, that's really hard to reconcile as well if you think you're on a spinning ball. Where does the moon fuck off to for 24 hours in your new moon and then reappear? Because it's a new moon. This is parabellum, parabellum, and what it is, is mirrors reflecting off mirrors, reflecting off mirrors into our reality. You get the chem cloud, everything else, Casusus, these strange Phoenician deity types. The sun and the moon, or the sun, and the dimmer sun, plasma effects being reflected in from outside, okay, apparent as in not physical not really there okay and as a dumb turns brings it in locally which is explains how you can see it'll it'll cover the subjectivity aspect all beautifully as well so i quite my mind suits i think that is a reality with the apparent and with this comet as well because they look like they're bursting through the dome it's like they're coming through a window and as you can see pouring water on us in a chem cloud in the middle ages everywhere is the same message okay so the all see and I you know one two three four five six pointed star plasma blast pyramid the serpent on a tree which is active charge if you know by now watch the great secret never told all the episode on fashies all of these strange critters and demonic things below in the dark another pyramid in flames these are all thought to be comets and you get the scepter and the laurel leaf of control they give people new controllers we won't get fooled again meet the new boss same as the old boss and what about this one eyes all around the H the S H V But we got the hourglass guys, right? And two opposing Tauruses. We got fucking Mount Meru North and South inertia plane. Two opposing Tauruses, eyes all around. The bottom biff's in flame now. Check these somatic patterns inside. <sighs> so advanced. For such an era. Such an understanding. And there she is. Got her on my wall up there. Melancholia. She sits in wait time they tell us in the allegory with the hourglass which is two opposing tauruses again the bell it ain't no big thing to wait for the bell to ring it ain't no big thing the tone of the bell okay the bells the bells the bells and there's a code a, a number code okay which is they say it's some wait for a certain day in this case it seems to be like whenever maybe 2020 and there is one of these resetting balls, orbs, again, and there it is. She's just watching, waiting, 
do it all again the stage show so this is um, another version of our plane meteorological diviv di divination and it's the dome everything in here with this and Ezekiel and Ezekiel's vision shows what looks like on a flammarion painting to be Ezekiel's wheels outside the dome so they seem to be control attack these wheels within wheels but always in a fiery, fiery thing and you are have some information from an invisible source in a chem cloud while a civilization burns in the background we chose you you are so righteous again look at the symmetry in this look at this so you get the Christ character but in this case doing a Masonic symbol with his fingers the, uh, that thing um, it's likely an Ardo's man but it's two opposing Tauruses again and a serpent intertwined all around him if I was to hazard a guess I'd say that was really evil and the Phoenicians when they arrive in this case she's a giant she has crazy cobra headwear so who are these people they're dressed like oh yeah they are dressed in uh, old clothes so in the middle ages that's what the Phoenician giants turned up like after the reset and then again here's um, God apparently turning up bunny rabbits and everything I don't know this geezer is in the background owl um, and Adams just got a, basically an Eve born out of his side which is his rib which is really weird so strange reset depictions of the past a toxic world everything gone completely insane but what you will get is overwhelming civilization burning in all of these you will get a demonic force you got the owl in this and something demonic with a book dancing demons look at this guy here it's a dog head it's a dog head okay and another dog head here they look like the skelting of the dark crystal I'm a gelfling obviously myself I'm a gelfling skelting if you haven't seen the Dark Crystal because you're young, I suggest you watch that film. Well, that's trippy. So, what's this all about? Obeliskage. Oh, they're carrying one of their people. They hide. They do that a lot. Can the reason they hide them in these like carriages is because you can't take a look at them because they ain't fucking one of us. People will be like, "What the fuck is it?" So this is um. A door, Gustave door painting, and it shows you the reset of civilization in a tidal wave. Door doing skyscrapers in the 1800. Can't be door. Is that Battersea's power station? A lot of tech going on. So they do show. It shows you all of this going underwater. So uh, it's all starting to make sense. The empty cities. Definitely the star forts. Check this it off for an image if you haven't. Again, it's a reset thing. Um, and this one is definitely associated with water. Okay. You get a lot of giants, giant monks, helping the smaller giants up this crazy cavern -y thing, right? We'll follow her up. Some more giant monkage. The pear, again, falling from the tree pair code more giants the DNA twirling the roots like DNA celestial sphere again they're always watching the sky that's why these lot doing the Freemasonic thing there with this kingy dude doing the Freemasonic thing fucking with that DNA fucking with it all they're going to change everybody rapidly forever and we will never be able to be the same again 
if something isn't done right now. Anyway, I, I, we fucked it. We're down a dead end. Nobody does anything, that's it. Just means roll over and die. See this guy here? Yeah? He knew years before and he tried to tell everyone on fucking his YouTube channel in 1812 when his place got reset last. Yeah? Everyone's petrified, yeah? And what are they seeing? Oh, a dreadful comic coming close. But this guy, he's laughing at them lot, panicking, scared, in fear, because he knows, yeah? you got to live in a now. you got to not worry about it. It's out of our hands, and we'll be looked after, yeah? Spiritually ascended. Whoever knows. Raptured, we don't even know what death is. That might be the real life. This might be fucking purgatory or hell. How many are having a crack cracking time? Here it is again. Yeah? They're resetting tech. Look at the size of him to her. I think he's um, definitely a homunculus. Fortuna. And that is in I-541. So isn't the world fucking completely nuts 500 years ago, guys? And they all tell you the same allegory. See it? The orb. The white ball. All of them. And you get this reaper. Who could be any one of their dodgy deities. Cronus. There's the ball again. <gasps> There's the ball again. And in this time, they show you the reset cycle. Coming out with the cold. That could be an aspect. What about him? He's blowing the weed, this, the wind, this demon. Whole of civilization, they're gathering the gold. They all are now. If I was you, I'd get into alternative currency because um, you know the economy will go through and money won't mean shit. You won't be able to buy bread if you've got a grand. So get haggling stuff, guys. So to my son's channel, they'll tell you about the grab gold out of your old stuff. Who knows? In six months' time, we could be drinking fucking piss and doing exactly that. Who even knows? Look at this. Whoever survives, we don't even know. We might, it might all go back to normal in a couple of weeks, and they just say. Everything's okay again now. You can all go back to your life. New World Order just won. We got complete control. 5G's going down. Blah, blah, blah. You're fucked. Yeah. Chip everyone. Vax everyone. Nobody ever goes anywhere without their knowing. Um, no more freedom ever. Complete lockdown of an entire civilization of people. And you've got to do their beckoning and demands. Or that will be your fucking ass. That'll be cut out of the system. You may as well just kill yourself. You can't live the year without them. Yeah. Do you know the motherfuckers took it into the Amazon? I was only saying to my son. Do you think the Amazonians are all right? Oh, they'll take it into them. Like smallpox fucking blankets. So there it is, the full image. Melancholia. In wait. In another realm. Or another land. Not here. With a Cherubinuski. The scales. Okay, some people can think that's biblical judgment. Of um, sins. Or whatever, in this place. Um, you know, the, if you did total shit and you were their bitch and you just fucking basically walked over everybody all your life selfishly, yeah, you were definitely, um, definitely some sort of karma for that. I, I definitely think so, okay. Uh, and people who choose to fear over love, because that's only going to win the day now. If everyone in the world just gets totally, I see a beautiful thing happening. It just it shivers me. I just want to see that on anything. Everyone coming home exactly the same time, but fortunately the sheeple man they just acting fucking nuts. Hope they snap out of it. J five eight three for Mary Queen of Scots. In her case, Scotarum, because she got a pair of Scotarums. Have you Scotarums, Mary? No. Fuck off. Anyway, my name's Brenda. Let's have a look. Scrotarums. Scrotum totems. Let's have a look. They got them. Scrotum totems. Them. The, the Masons. They're definitely into all that. Scrotum totem. Are they? The Masonic Scottish Rite. And when you get to the top, like, you know, 12th. Because uh, 13 uh, degree is like honorary so they get the 12 where they get all the information and I guess they say um, this place is a reset cycle um, basically we we control all um, while it while in between interim periods and we keep everyone asleep you'd be able to live quite a happy life probably have a few generations and you probably survive as well we'll probably sort you out take you off land somewhere else at a certain time 
don't worry, we've got all the cruise ships ready, they're on in the ports. This is a case in um, Germany where all of these orbs turned up in the atmosphere flat. It's all on my channel. And this is what we talked about for the British, that when this comet era happens, they could literally grab the charge off them. The agitation of the EM, right, would cause incredible amounts of electromagnetic electricity, which was available by using high quality metals in resonators and drawing you out into these things. But in this case, they're trying to smash and kill the day of resonator, which is glistening because it's collecting. So they need to take that out. That might be a clue. That might be a clue. It's a 5G, I'm saying. These could be like old fashioned 5G towers and the people are like, no fucking way. Look at it. Could be, couldn't it? After a reset, the only tree left, and in the middle of a street, what is it doing there? Nobody around, and everything is a mud flutter. The Phoenicians have had time to do their shit, though. In between, I feel they've been here more than once. I don't know what that is in the background. It looks like some sort of tower. And freaks of nature. Oh yeah, there was a time before now when um, you can see it in Ovid. Um, which I think is a clue because they've put Ovid into Covid and Ovid is a change in paradigm between realities where one reality was there was all cryptids and strange creatures you know like the win the, the, the Belimis once witnessed by Alexandra the Great Rotobar and where they had faces on their chests and they were aggressive or the dog heads St Christopher is supposed to be a dog head guys so they you know they existed where are they now? taken on a reset probably so there's that tree again and the serpent wrapped around the tree so it shows in my show you in my book is making a charge anything to do with the serpents and electromagnetics and all this oh this is their interpretation of it and as I showed on a vlog a few times ago oh boy all in the laurel are good and all in the serpent are evil so i feel there's like a really um evil force at play things this is the darkest time in human history this is worse than like world war ii they just locked all of humanity down people in world war ii still carried on normal we're not even allowed out you know without threats or like in their case fear of catching some fucking thing they don't even understand look at this doors to the heart, the devil's getting in one and Jesus is in the other. Now, think about heaven and hell. Not that I go with all of that, but the psychology. My mind, Satan, in this case, is like the ultimate purifier because he gives temptation of, you know, do this, do that, um, and then you do them. But he's offering the temptation and if you just like eventually go no 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 I don't want any of that bullshit you go to this side so he's so created this side so it's good and evil in perfect harmony yeah he's like almost it's like the ultimate um, test for pure pure soul what about this guy yeah he's got something on his mind haven't he <laughs> uh, I guess like that you under isolation yeah, no. Them or not. They're having a canoodle in the background. Sorry. Sorry for some. Look at this. The rest are stuck in isolation. The antique world's fine though. And water. All about water in the antique world. So there's some alchemical depictions. More of the cycle. The serpent. What about this? Solomon Sigil down here, which is an electronic component. You've got Satan offering some eternal life through a magic spell it's like John D I reckon and this is a spell because they wanted to live longer here's another alchemical depiction the keys crossed the key the stats the machine the recycling machine shoots a ball over us not from fucking space uh, from a, out there, outside this enclosure. This place is big. We're only in a little bit of it. Look at this. Like just mining 
operation or something. And they'll show you the same. Reflected in, serpent entwined, this is like a casusus, the pyramid at the top, the ego with the wings open. <sighs> okay, and this is out of um, basically the Paradise Lost, uh, Dante's Inferno. And you've got Jerusalem is there, and then you've got Hell, and then you've got a step pyramid, which is Mount Meru, and another step pyramid, which is Mount Meru, uh, Mount Meru north and south. And then you got the constellations, Mercury, Mars, and da, 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 all inside a nice firmament. But outside is is the empherial em realm or paradise, just outside. So imagine that this is all water, and above there, there's bigger lands where others are. Okay, not aliens. How do they get in portals? Black mirrors, gateways. Some we don't understand. Okay, science couldn't explain. Or chemical magic based. Creating a void. Temporal void. Straight through. Or it's a black mirror. And now I don't even like the fucking look of that. And it's only a black. It's, you know, black fucking square. Yeah, it gives me a funny feeling. Any of you getting that? So, um, this is a player, isn't it? The black mirror. And we're looking at one right now. I've got one right by there. Sure, I'm not sure why he's battering an egg with a sword, but maybe there's something in this egg that he needs to kill. He's looking scared. Yeah. Oh, i got to get that fucking egg. If it hatches, it's going to be a big, nasty something. No, there's no such thing as dinosaurs. Here they go again. Look, strange alchemy. Now, you've got a blindfold because of the, the light as you can't look at. The blast from Comet Comet's landing. What is it? Look at this, chicken feet below, right? And she's on one side, she's on the other, and there's some sort of chalice. Coitus. Matarapata. Matarapata Luna. A sol, a pala Luna. So it's a sun and moon. There, dudes. And here's um, a sol dude turning up out of the water. And he instantly, just like the Anunnaki, uh, fancied earthly women. Again, Fashe's fiery stick. It's all comet related. And Branxus, or Melusin, or another Phoenician serpentary deity. These are out of the Voynich manuscripts. I think they're definitely Phoenician. She's so sinister. Wow. And the witches. The Uras witches. Always really weird. Almost unhuman. Strange shapes. This one's from J497. Og. H. O G H. Og. Ogham. Ockham. And spinning the water in. So you get the idea anyway. Plasma re reset by outside controllers. Evil, as you can see. And these strange, strange deities of the Phoenicians. Okay. Somebody asked me my comments are they good and they bad? Are they good? Um, are they evil? And I said, well, I think they hide it from us for good reason, but like, you know, who, who, you know, who said they can play God and protect us from our rights to know what the fucking hell we're on and what is happening here, you know? It's a bit presumptuous of them. So, in fact, for that, no, fuck them. We only did it to protect you, enslave you, use you. There's again, there it is again, same object, silvery record, orb. This guy's controlling. Ovid, again. Ovid. Ovid. See Ovid. Oh, fuck me. Can't make this shit up, Matt. It's also it's like the never ending story, but everything happens is just coming true. Like, to like a biblical level. And there's Bacchus. 
one of his incantations offering the wine and that's sort of capitalistic uh, democracy mindset that they're all you know loving so much here's sound and vibration shattering buildings now they're using resonance and vibration in 5G technology like nothing's going on look at this strange alchemy she's got two babies one in each hand holding them up she's going to have more babies than that with all of them oh, you know there they are fucking phonies check their noses guys eh? no city who got one like that who got a cock like that there you go again reset of civilization reflected in reason she's got fashies as you reset civilization and as you will see on a further picture everything it's fucked up look at these wheels flaming wheels what tech is this two suns in the sky two suns and the ship's getting taken out so two suns in the sky is being seen a lot I'm getting loads of people and um, this was sent by Lee Flat of British many moons ago years ago now he thought this was not a shoe shining machine but actually a record player from the middle ages because it looks like a record player but I guess it could what they say and a collier again anyway let's move on because I've got loads to show you we can't spend all time on that <coughs> right these are brilliant these are a collection I picked up I was going through some of the images and it's more of the same but they are rather epic these they same sort of encoding Phoenicians but in a really high quality okay and it's all about information Okay. They seem very learned, don't they? But excuse me. This one. So they're looking at what? Earth? Globe? Well, I don't know. Nothing like I've ever recognised, unless this is Central America. This is South America, very possibly. So what they're working on is the globe because they brought it with them. But you notice the world in the background? She has architecture on her head. Yeah, Babylon. The controllers. Working it all out when they brought it here. And then instilled it through the Jesuits. And the Vatican. And the education system. Dialection. Dialect. And that's from I three six five so early what's the frog Aristotle what else we got Xenon and Georgius so they only got certain contemporaries even then this one's weird and I was think it's comment related she's got the celestial sphere and she's pointing at well I, I don't know what constellation this is here uh, there's Leo the lion so it's just um, is this a shrimp? I don't know, but it's there she's pointing at. And she's looking up and she's pointing at the sky. Now remember, they're always waiting on the next comet. Wing open, clock, orb thing. Yeah? Wings open means an active charge. You will never see one with his wings closed. Never. And that's why they include them. That's why they use them on lectures. That's why the Americans use them on their flags <coughs> and stuff. <coughs> like um, all the statues as well tallying up okay that makes sense and it goes through some Phoenician absolutely beautiful Phoenician wow I don't see Phoenician uh, beautiful because they're quite evil to look at but I mean the quality look at that I wonder how long something like that would make take to make, or is it 3D printed? Sorry, I don't even know. Maybe a door knocker. Okay. Right then. So, swordage. Oh, wow. Look at that. Can't bring that bigger, fortunately. Now, the Phoenician swords. Incredibly detailed Phoenician dirties and all the rest of the strangeness we've kind of.
come to learn a fact British. These would make epic album covers. You see a bit of uh, Phoenician stuff in some album covers. Yes, it's a bit Phoenician y. I guess Black Sabbath are a bit like Tony the Phony instead of Tony Iomi. Tony the Phony. They all sort of got Phoenician related names, haven't they? Thinking about it. Plus, they added lyrics that they didn't write at all, given to them by. stock. So, I can pass that to you. There's, that is that. There's actually connection after collection of that there, guys. Uh, to go through, but I need to press on. There's one here as well. And it goes through the an old uh, chronicle, which is chronicle and cities in the 14th century or 13th century, and King Age, etc. Same again. The orb resetting tool. Well, it's not bad that one. Um, but it's just strange times. Like uh, I'm guessing this is uh, circumcision, and like a thing to collect the blood. And what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you really need nine dudes just to chop off a little bit of skin off this kid? And he seems a bit big for a super. Uh, I not not that I know what the age would be. I bet he was happy with it before then, fuckers. Um, and uh. And um, an old lady just walking in for a nose, basically. Okay, again, fucking bit of his knob chopped off. Um, I'm guessing that's a Jesus dude again. He's got a sword stuck in his head and a flower out the other year. For, sword in one year. So he doesn't want to hear bad words. He only wants to hear flowery words, maybe. I don't know. He lives by the sword. Oh, shit. So they're dragging the dead out of the pits these demons out of their graves coffins this one's going ooh let me check your head for lice while everyone else burns and there's a queue to go in some sort of wormhole and a selection process oh they're the dead and they're all blonde he's checking his hair because he's dark is he and he's like underneath him, like really nasty, like scratching him and everything. Whoa, that's a fucked up image. Jeez. Fuck me. No wonder I always fucking. You'd have to kick, get me kicking and screaming in a fucking church. I used to think, oh, it's me, something wrong with me. I'm like that kid in the omen. But it wasn't me, it was them that was fucking evil. I didn't even know. I had this really like, oh, this is not right. So the dance of death. They're mocking. They mock so bad. So yeah, they're mad. They're mad. These are guys. I'll link them to you. There's so many in them. Check these for depictions. So I'm guessing he's a giant there, right? Because he's a bit bigger than everyone else. Yeah. Or they are in the castles or what have you. He's got like a demon whispering in his ear. He's telling the people all that. And um, there's an epidemic. Protect your NHS. Stay inside forever. We don't need food, we will look after you. Oh, praise be, I'm so happy. Yeah, you have to distance yourself now. Go fuck off. And while that's happening, there's a titanic battle in the sky with a frog, lizard, man thing. And I, just, I won't define them. Well, that's trippy. And he's out of. Um, look at that, old map of the world. Um, Mine's got the shit, don't even worry. That's just look at her. She's all fit in hairy. He's got many arms. Oh, they're all freaks around the side, look. Oh look, there's the Tatarian one they told us about. Oh, Scathia Tataria's there, guys. In this. Post flood map. What's that island there? Italy hasn't got a shoe. That can't be Sicily. What's that island? And look at the fucking Straits of Gibraltar, they're massive. This is a post flood map. Is this India? Not touched yet? Yeah, possibly. Oh, post flood map. Awesome. And the um the Noarins. The Noarich. The Arnon Anna Arki. Ark. 
archons, archons, arch, archnos, arch, no, noe, no Noah. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? So yeah, you get these guys like so. If Karen B are in my chat, yeah, Yetis are a definite because they got hairy dudes here as well, right? I mean, nobody's that naturally hairy. Do they put Yetis into isolation? It's out here. And this one's from an anomalous date of P eight three two, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, very very fucking peculiar times pre reset. But who knows what their controllers have put them through. This this reality, they just managed to lock the entire civilization down. Can't make that shit up. What's that? Uh, oh, island. So where's Wales? Fucking put it on there, never do they? Orient. Poland, Germany. So they just call Tataria the Orient there, look. See Tataria? Moscovy. Mitag. Me dog. Oh, that's an interesting note. I will look at some maps later, but obviously this is going to be the longest vlog in reality again. But yeah, I want to. Uh, I got a lot here for you tomorrow as well. It's going to be exciting tomorrow. We we'll talk about a lot of stuff. I want to cover five G a bit while I picked up. So yeah, uh, what's this place? Uh, it's Jerusalem, which is a modern skyscraper in city. Something just blew the fuck up. In the walled city of Jerusalem. Or Jerusalem. There's Venice. Home of the Phoenicians. Oh, the cosmography. That's what I was trying to think of. My head was gone. You see, not many people in the towns, but what they will show you, if they do show you people, is them executing other people. Seems to be an emphasis. But everything's been mud flooded, grown back. Okay. Some Chinese images in there now, so I, I'm sure they're really, really lovely. Wow. I don't even know. Some sort of gadget for holding your child in place. Stop it fucking fiddling with anything. Oh, they're nice. Birdage. Love a bit of birdage. He's not a hairy man, he's got a furry coat on. Are they giants or kids? Could be giants, could be giants. We'll see giants come back tomorrow. Okay, these are quite good. Beautifully made. But I got two books of these. Eh? Ooh. Let's go through. Oh, they are really unusual. And uh, these are obviously of Japan. Japan, excuse me. Which is like a really unusual, insanely nutty fucking culture and zip like ours. Zero like ours. This is really weird. Is this water? Oh. What you write? Oh, I get it. He's in water. If he breathes in that, it's going to keep him inflated in his uh, metal served trebuchet. Um, another. Medieval mechanicalism. Oh fuck me! Imagine going through a crowd with that. <sighs> they giants, because they're fucking tiny. Might be a perspective thing. But look at that. Whoa. Oh, that'd be awesome to see in action. What's this? J O nine six, or is it J eight nine O? What year would this be? J. Oh, 90. So it's not 1090. So it's what? 90. 90 years after the flood. And some weaponry, guys. Some weaponry to check out. Okay, let's move on. Oh, these are really good, though, aren't they? But I can see where this is going. We're moving on because I've got a lot of links to go. Now, just in a form of reset. Let's just have another look at, um, excuse me, a depiction we've looked at maybe a dozen times or more of British, but for good reason. 
because it's a reset depiction. And I had a thought, and I'll share it with you now. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Please share this out, guys. And this will be up tonight, and as I said, tomorrow night, flat day. Oh. Sorry, British. New channel. The Celtic Tatarian channel. Hope you like the new name. So this depiction is mind blowing. I know a lot of you have seen it, guys. Oh bugger, right? But I'm thinking of it now in um, the, an epidemic. So imagine an epidemic has uh, evolved. These are the skull and crossbones. So these are your Freemasons. These are in the shit too. So they're coming in a disabled. Things been going on a long while. And there's death. And I wondered what these were. So he has to hug death before he's allowed in. Okay? With these mace with these people who got the skull and crossbones sign on. Yeah? He has a scythe. Now if the food runs out, they they're gonna bring like soup wagons around and stuff where you got a queue. So you got the Gorgon bursting on the floor. She's an active charge. She's five G. She's electromagnetic radiation which leaks out everywhere. In this case, it's scaring all the people. They've gone blindfold because they can't look. They can't look. It's bites in them. It's making them go blind. Is it the light? But they can't look. These people are unaffected by it. They seem they look very unhappy and they're sitting in wait. Right? And these are the elites, but they're not affected by the EM. Okay? They're a food station. Okay, here's the food. Like it's a plague. Now, I've been talking about them sperm things for years. What if they're not? What if they're comets that are coming down? And they got some strange, like, post apocalyptic worship of the comet. Don't they look like a comet? Comets coming down. So everyone else is dead. Disease. Been eaten by the animals. You can see his disease because he's had off oh, hunger and disease because I say disease because he hasn't got any injuries. Civilization's burning, and they dish out uh, bread. He thinks he can have something, and the guy who's got the virus or the disease or the serpent or the electromagnetic. It's not giving him shit. So I think in this narrative. See civilization, or from the all and I, in this case Rapido, Rapino, a lizard, a lizard, the all and I. Always the wings open, active charge, and the owl. The mirrors of the past, safe guarding our future by looking into the past, seeing what happens here. We can safeguard our future. Is this some sort of inoculator around his neck picture of? Everyone's got a card on, you see, guys, on their chest. Except this guy. These got cards on. Triangle, skull and crossbones. Well, I don't take a genius to work on their masons and protected. The people are fucked. Serpents are biting them. And the bats. <gasps> the bats. Bat. The fucking towers of bats. Holy fuck. <sighs> Here's a map here. I'm just going to show you while I'm here. Dug out of, of uh, basically, Napoli but in a really early period and man oh man is it detailed it's um, a huge Steve star fort and it's um, oh it's 1790 1700 sorry but it gives you if you would just clear a minute these amazing star forts Um, it's this I wanted to focus on. It doesn't seem to be clearing. Give it a second. Oh, excuse me. Please uh, subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to our new channel if you haven't. Flat British is back in a really big way. During um, some apocalyptic scenario. It's really weird. Let's move on. 
this is another book I'd share with you. There's some unusual stuff in it. It's basically hundreds and hundreds of uh, voyages at a certain time. This one is from the New York Booth's History of New York, but it gives you um, other countries as well. So apparently this is in New York, but it's got the Union Jack up, some strange church with like aerials. And what about this Indian settlement with this strange thing? The ladder going up. It's like a 5G tower, it looked like the top of them resonators. Is this the 5G tower of the day? So it goes, there's some absolutely stunning depictions, early New York. Um, like this is supposed to be early, excuse me, early New York. Okay, which is quite beautiful, looks like old England. And a few bits of America, like Oswego in New York. Some of their Phoenician fucks. Excuse my language, it's fucking it doesn't even matter when a pandemic priorities have changed, and you care not anymore. And um, plus, swear words were definitely invented for a pan fucking damn London. So I'm going through quick, I've got so much to show you, and I'm running out of time. Okay. So, this is fun. I'll give you this book anyway, but it's got hundreds of pages of mud flooders and unusual stuff like that, which I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a crane. It's an electric crane. Where's the handle? It's got like a electric -y thing on top. So it could be an electric crane there, guys. Hmm. Oh, really interesting depictions. That's why I'm sharing it. Plus, this is links for you to look over while you're stuck in fucking board. If you are, I never get bored. I've got a billion things to do. Plus, I've been just like swamped with humanity for some reason. Probably because we're talking about what's been happening. I actually say on one of my vlogs that I'll show you in a minute that I thought the pandemic would be a, a re, you know, somehow they could reset civilization. <laughs> now we're going to look at Tataria. In this case, it's North Korea. Tataria was in North Korea. They've been hiding it. Now you may have seen this vlog on John Levy's epic channel um, in the past where he shows like this anomalous hotel which basically was left abandoned. Okay, in the 19. 87 and began again 18, uh, 1989 and it was left like this apparently okay half built etc okay construction of the uh, Ruyong Hotel begins in 1987 so in, in the recent years you get a photograph and then boom this thing shows up but John Levy shows photos of the fucking thing buried in mud but it was abandoned for a couple of years Okay, so that is their prize and pride and glory. So, and I thought, seeing that, I thought, oh, I wonder if they got any Tatarian stuff. Fuck yeah, it could be London, it could be like an old English school. So, pre Korean war buildings in North Korea and in, Pong, in Pongyang. Alright, it's these. Look at this. Greco Romano. Who knew the Romans, the Phoenicians, unmistakable, were in Pongyang? So it looks like a little bit of England. There it is now, mud flooded, all lower levels, all under here. In this case, not visible. In this case, visible. So I don't know what that building is. It's Art Deco building. And this old thing here, yeah, look, custom house. Located on the river, three story stone building opened in 1929. Is that why the photo's so shit? And then that stone. No, that's that older, older world. They show you a few qu crap films of like, um, you know, North Korean, you know, flag waving, nutty, brainwashy shit. Look at this, all the aerials. Yeah, it's like Washington or something. Yeah, North Korea guys, Greco Romana, Phoenicians, North Koreans. So they're there too. Who knew? Well, it would be it's tiny, is there? This is a brilliant resource. Um, I got a channel I was um, sub to on my Tatarian channel called Wooden Nickels, and she basically presented these. I'll, I'll link it up. I don't know if it's in my um, resources on my website, but check some of these images out. They're unbelievable. You've got um, 
Uh, Haiti inscription near the village in Ali Kubja doesn't show you much, but check this out in, Lys in Lysodonia. Let's have a look at these amazing antiquities. You can mag right up, and some of them are absolutely beautiful. Okay. Check this quality on that and everything is smashed around it so obviously this window's like half buried so it's been mud flooded and um, that could be the door actually half buried something's hit it I would give a guess at water damage but nice bit of stonework and what was it for beautiful so yeah these are collections you can just basically Excuse me. Click the picture and mag in at your own leisure. There's a few brilliant ones here. Just go to the bottom. This archer and look at all these as well of antiquity. Just so so many. But I got a lot to show you in this vlog, however. And it is five o'clock UK time. This is on tonight. Around nine o'clock maybe. So this is mud flooded. And they've infilled this so you don't go in there, but look at the decoration. This thing up and running would have been out of this world. Whoa, look at that feature all inlaid, all cut in. Look at these geometric shapes, flower of life. There, flower of life. Wow. That is stunning. Beautiful. Let's have a go another one or two of them. That was stunning. What we got here? Um, ancient tombs. Ancient tombs. Let's have a look at ancient tombs. Oh, right. They built a Greco Romano arch over them. Look, there's a pillar missing. No fucking way. This is mud flooded and solidified. <laughs> look at that, there's a face in there. And all these graves, or whatever they are. Megaliths or standing stones. Holy shit. Cool. Look at one of them. Bash reliefs. Wow. What do you reckon on that though? It's like something flew in and just plugged in. It's like one of those coupling devices. Female and male plug. One of them. So what we got? It's a bit inky. Two lions posing. That might. Oh, I can't imagine. Something in a, a joist. No, it's too elaborate. Wow! How fucking brilliant! Holy shit! Very juicy indeed. So look at this. Pinnacle of Fabial Tufa. In Dongali, ni, ni. Let's have a look at this. Wow, this is like fairy castles. Looks water damaged. What's that? Another one there. Right up you go. Up you go, and there's all settlements at the top. People are living up there. Do you know why they're up there, guys? That's right. Keep out the way of the water. I love the forward thinking on these people of antiquity. They seem to be not so brainwashed some of these previous resets. Like I said, you know, this is this stupidest reset in history, but they did have, you know, television. Oh, look at that half buried. And that one. Ah, wow. And the pillars broke. And mud flooded in. It's like, um,. Petra. But look at these arches. Oh, gone buried. Concreted in, maybe there. Wow, that's fucking outstanding. Look at one of those monument. Royal tombs. This should be pretty good. Oh, another one of those plug things. It's just blank. Like this. Oh, there was something on you. 
and I fixed it because this is just blank like a blank door you can't walk through ever well it's Phoenician Mur Azaf Mur Azaf You Azaf You Pifia You Patia You Azaf Wow That's fucking brilliant I'll link it to you You could spend more time you know, decoding this stuff uh, Let's have a look Because I've got a couple of links to go And I'm going to move on to images of the day Maybe a bit of tunage Oh that's better read uh, Drowned Ah Some uh, well equipped Bedouin types. Which seem to have it sorted. Let's have a look at that last one on that page and I'll link it to you. I gotta go and eat shortly before I post this. Alright. Oh, wow, everything's just fucking smashed. And it's concreted in again so you don't go in there. Or is that a door through to the hill beside? Oh, it's a door through the hill beside, behind it. Excuse me. It's like the whole of the antique world, like Afghanistan, all these places. It's just all reduced to small bits of stone. And it's just the geological forces, in my mind, just don't crack it at all. Something else is clearly going on. So I'll link that up to you. Anyway, moving on. So evacuations. Now, as I said, in Moscow in 1812, when Napoleon arrived, the entire population had gone. They say that they moved them all out, shipped them east for safety. So they had a mass, you know, evacuation of not only Moscow but other Moscovy cities uh, to move east. Um, I'm not sure if this looks like a looting or something because everyone's piling their stuff. But look at these beautiful picture. This is and such wealth. Oh, that kid's on a walking stick. Not everyone's doing too good these are so some sort of collection and the whole of the community is leaving the confines of the city uh, some upheaval isn't it and who knows the world government's just all bullied everyone together all on the same side you all ganged up on us guys bigger boys what are we gonna do hmm? argue with their armies so this is in Russia, 1800s, nice orb, and what these sailors are doing from, might be St. Petersburg, who knows, could be Kronstadt if they're sailors, um, is orb in the claw of an eagle, double-headed eagle, wings open again, like Russia's nothing to do with the British royal family, scepter, um, and they're fitting light bulbs all around and on top to illuminate. So it's a lovely picture of the use of electricity before it's official narrative. Um, and another book of maps which I'm going to give you which are pretty beautiful. I was going through them, they're all Tataria and stuff and the Americas. Okay, British Dominions and North America. Some of them be questionable later on like they show you like this one for example only three great lakes as far as I can see it's like uh, excuse me it's like are they missing so we got one uh, so Huron Superior was Erie and Lake Ontario so there only seems to be three great lakes and they look fuck all like the great lakes that have now Prince St Lawrence is intact Hudson Bay's looking similar, but only three Great Lakes. Oh, excuse me. And um, obviously, if you noticed, Island California shows up in all of these maps. But in later ones, it's linked up. So only three Great Lakes at that period. Um, and uh, California's an island. And we get it a bit more here. But it is actually connected on other maps. Excuse me. As you can see, oh, excuse me, 
So how to navigate these? Oh, you motherfucker. I lost it. Sorry. Back back here, isn't it? Yeah, they're hard to navigate these. Um, so yeah, brilliant maps. Loads of anomalies. And the dates on them is 1655, these ones. In this case, they show you this land below connected to South America coming all the way up as far as the equator. No Great Lakes and no California. Connected to Tataria. Okay. So California's an island there. Have we got five Great Lakes? We have one, two, three. Um, is that a Great Lake, this one here? Is that Erie? Is that Erie? No, that could be Erie, the little one. Two, three, four, five, might be. So, I look, California's still an island. First talked about that. She on my channel now. Uh, three years ago, we first talked about that. So, it's not a revising. There's so many discoveries since my channel. It's been hard to even describe. It's just craziness. Absolute roller coaster ride out of control roller coaster ride now everything's different look at this for south america uh, for the apparent antarctica all the way up to the equator so there's like tropical there is it it's no it says nova guinea but nova guinea's not like attached to um fucking so-called antarctica is it so cracking little maps some will go right back look at that the whole of the south pacific covered in mass of land. Wales, yay! It's so your Clangari. I don't know what that is. Aleph. Ooh. That sounds like a uh, Holy Landy. Is that a Hibernian? Hibernia. Connect. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, I'll give them to you. This is absolutely stunning map each book, but there's like literally hundreds and hundreds of very Italian maps from antiquity. Okay? If you like me, Mappy Martin, I do love a good map and cluage galore. Okay? This one's older again, is it? No, this one's 1703, so there's a whole load of atlases, okay? Of different uh, ages. Uh, all the Great Lakes there. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good. Not so much there, though. Zip. I was fiving off. Very interesting. We're moving on. No. Images of the day in a minute. I think we'll have a little bit of tune. Oh, fuck off, because I've got to go... Um, food soon. So yeah, I'm going to come back, There's loads happening, loads to look forward to and a juicy vlog for tomorrow. Okay, now I got some images here that I'm going to bring up in a minute for images of the day from Malta of star forts and stuff. So we got a bit of time, doesn't really matter. And here they are. And what we got here is um, Sicily, Malta, and antiquities of the late 1800s and the Phoenicians built an unbelievable star fort in uh, Valletta but their statues and their architecture in this place is just mind-blowing excuse me as you'll see this is absolutely beautiful place Greco Roman, you know, this is the 1800s and the world seems cleaner at this stage. Everything you don't see any people about, though. Not in this case, there's no one at home. Did they call epidemic? There's two people there. That busy, you know, piazza, the fountain of Phoenician water horse. But check this architecture. So, this is a gateway, right? Look at that sailing ship. Look at that beautiful gateway. Love that shot. Sweet. It's almost like a, a movie. It's real. Is it? Vanilla Skies, who even knows? 
and another gateway. That's the other side, I guess. So, just like Russia, the big Imperial Eagle wings open. I guess uh, empty knights, faceless knights suits setups all over the place. Yeah, there's the entrance gate. Two quarter features. Well, that's massively ostentatious for that little street. There must have been something else in the background there when this was up and active. Two little rooms. I wonder what they were for. It's a living. And there's your eagles. It's only one world power. The new world order haven't just come into power. They've been in power all along. It's just now they got us. Like, surf them. There's nothing they do anything with us now. Because we never said anything. Never stood up. Just took it. Mind you, we're all still numb. A lot of people are still numb. Give it time. Check this out. the mud flood windows. There's done a lot of like one muddy substances around there. And look on there. Wow, look at the Phoenicians on there. A pyramidical roof with a weather vane. Some doorway, gateway. Well, it's a little bit more busy here. Yeah, there's at least a half a dozen people. Has to carriages to pick up the people that are not there. So it's a bit like taxi drivers. Yeah. No one ghosting there, maybe two. Yeah, nobody else. No, just hands and carriages. Okay. That's five. Check this out for a waterfall. It's beautiful. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, but the water's not working on it. There it is again. It is ten past seven in the evening. I guess it is by the shadows. Oh, lower levels there as well with horses. Let's have a look. One, two, three. Some horses. So the place has got just the best architecture. Check that out. So it's like Greco-Romano and Antiquitech. It's more like China. That's in Sicily as well. Well, that's Palermo, the capital. Wow. It's very Moorish, isn't it? And as is that. But Greco Romano with two sphinxes in Palermo. Domage. The thing on top. Something smashed off here. Yeah. One of those crazy arches. Oh, they were more. All of them. These are weird, these bandstands in parks. Little brass band, something else was going on with them, definitely. Oh, I'll check in with a fucking Pope hat on. I'd love to run past and hit it off for a laugh. But I'm like that, I'm naughty. I'm not naughty, I'm mischievous. And I'm not that mischievous now, because, you know, times it is. But I could be, yeah, I could be. I tried to behave. They wind me up. And what does behave mean anyway? Beehive. Be like the hive. If you don't beehive, you're not part of the hive. For the queen. Antiquitech domes. All the way along. So if you don't beehive. Oh, beehive. So what do you reckon is going to happen then? Do you reckon they're like a chemtrail in the sky? So they can have like alien invasion or maybe they'll have like um, a deity maybe they'll have a projection a hundred foot high a thousand foot high no a million foot high a million foot wide projection of Nelson Mandela that would be fun Nelson Mandela now my name is Nelson Nelson Mandela <laughs> I am standing in for Jesus Christ and I've come to save you all. Maybe that's what it's all about, you know, saving. Saving from what, you know? We're lost at sea. SOS, save our souls. 
We're lost at sea. We don't know what we're in. Everything is supernatural and spiritual by nature. There's more going on than they tell us. Completely different reality. I'm living what they tell us. My experience of this place is fuck all like what they tell. I've seen nothing like it. So there's a pope skinning up. No, he's picking the dirt off his nails. Contemplating. Doing that meditating thing. He's doing contemplating, meditating thing as well. Is it safe to empty your mind? Would something just whisper in your ear? Yeah. Door. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So, giant doors. Look at the detail. Moorish again, rather than Christian, more Coptic Christian. Uh, what city is that? Is Messina, who got completely destroyed by an earthquake prior to this photograph. Nothing stood. There was a giant earthquake. It took every building out. What's that? Crepuscular rays. Is the sun there? Okay, I thought it was something else. So here's a city that was destroyed, Messina, a giant earthquake, very famous. I've posted about it on my channel. In fact, there's a lot of on that channel, guys. If you check it out, it'll keep you busy during the duration. You know, take my you know my word for it, guys. That everyone is very very juicy. If you want to see a million images of antiquity as juicy as this one, you get on them channels. Go to my channel. Check that out. Fucking hell. Cool, look at them. Like little Babel Towers. Wow, holy moly. Exterior conduit. Why do they have mesh on the windows? Is they keeping something in or out? All of them. Steel windows. There. Not there, but up there. I see that a lot. I wonder what that is. Right, oh, look at this. So, faceless night setups. Bit of information. Beautiful door. We love the doors. Fire British. Break on through to the other side. So, yeah. Not that I see any negative outcome, as I don't. And I've been having much contemplation on some subject as what is going on now. And I feel it'd be rough. And I feel that we should just have faith in the most high is what I feel. Look at this, left out in the open in the mud. No pavements up to infrastructure. Everything is mud flooded around these buildings. These are all world beautiful. So oh, that would be Mount Etna, and there's a beautiful Benini elephant and obelisk. There's another one in Rome. Not many people around again. Skeleton crews. <gasps> the size of it. Oh, I was a kid. Everything's so big. See what I mean? It's for giants, isn't it? A man would only be that big. These these places are just massive, guys. See what I mean? Uh, so along the prom prom we got a Phoenician evil bastard looking in when you come off your ship bringing your ways the new trade system okay moving on and some strange wobbly columns pagoda building the load of churchy chappage my dog and a well you can find about on my last channel as we propose that these are to do with aquatech living water and possibly not always amphitheater amphi meaning two so they're probably a multiple use of some filtration and vortex system for living water okay so water was held in these span down and that could be a good clue there because you know if it's an amphitheater and they're doing like gladiatorial purposes bullshit bullshit what's all this caper here 
It's like a room in the middle with a hypercost and a wall. Oh, hypercost? Warm in it? Who knows? Warm in the water. I couldn't even tell you, but it looks like a dog with two ears. It is a dog. <gasps> oh, it's a dog! Yes! Oh, this is like the best fucking dog ever. That got him, that got muddied bad, that giant dog, guys. I solidified densification. Yeah? Look cute. Oh, muddy dog, guys. Fucking love that. Fucking love that. Love giant shit, me. I did when I was a kid as well. Nothing's changed. All this stuff I'm looking at, I was looking at when I was a kid. Old pictures in books. I used to like all the old illustrated Bible with all the apocalyptic you know, Noah pictures and everything else. Or Pharaoh's army getting taken out in the Red Sea. It's like, yeah! I don't even know why. The columns in there. Wow. There's the mud layer there. A line for the, an upper mud layer. Separate mud floods. Which is an inevitability, I'm afraid. Also, there's more mud flood. It's like a little pyramid. It's been blitzed. Wow. So I don't know how many of you are in chat. If any, I could be just a bloke talking to himself in his bedroom. Probably am. <laughs> Share this out, please. For my pandemic effort. I'm not giving a flying fuck. I'm bringing the love, which I am. I genuinely love flat of Britishness. I'm flat of British peeps. It's just the best best place to be this best place to be in a reset because we're one step ahead and we've been talking about this stuff like I said to you in the beginning guys you know understanding our futures understanding the past and we you know we picked apart this code she shouldn't have bit her nails look how she ended up <laughs> hide me hide me love for sculpture myself something going on with a bit eerie I think there's dead bodies in some of them naughty Phoenicians maybe maybe they get mortalized maybe that's their eternal life Maybe some strange voodoo, look. Yeah, exterior of this dude has demised. The water had washed it off over time. So, oh, Christ, there's some good stuff in the med. Some templage. They were something else as well. Not what they say. It's a replica of the temple called the Temple of Bacchus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, is it? I thought it was going to be 13, it might be. And there's one that's just got fucked up. Excuse my language. Not really. And not through thousands of years of time and earthquakes and everything else. Well, earthquakes as well. But uh, an event. A seriously big event. Which took this out. And it was big enough to move them columns. Water does that, but lucky enough, we have either technology we can get the fuck out. This was massive. This thing, there's another one of those slots like something a door blocked up, part of the structure. And it's slots, something was in that part of the technology, old world technology. Nothing new under the sun with these, it's just we interpreted it all wrong. And it was more advanced anyway. They just drip feed us the tech anyway, they got it all free energy power cuts my ass, that's just them terrorising us they got fucking enough electric, fucking probably burning it off rather than producing it um, the star photo of Valletta oh as a treat, something going on with the whole of Valletta gets more bombs put on it in World War 2 apparently than anywhere the whole island wins a medal, you got the Maltese Cross, you got the Knights of Malta very Phoenician place but beautiful, I would love to go to the Malta, but it's fucking boiling there. And for the enemy, eh? Whatever. So the British wanted to look after this place in World War II. Probably more going on than just the island. I don't think they're too worried about people. It's the Phoenicians. They don't give a shit. Just pretend they do. It's in my word for it, guys. In my experience, and I'm not just being facetious or anything. They don't care. They ain't just getting all fucking generous and loving on us all of a sudden, all right? Not with their own, it's their own interests. Money comes first, industrialists, all of that. Economy, everything else is on hold. 
attracting their interest purely fucking bail out of a sinking ship. Look at this. They could get out of here. Maybe there's one opening one time a year and they get off. Pond. Number two, battery. Battery. Charge the battery. This replaced it with like these, you know, these ridiculous elements that weren't the originals for these places. This was high tech world back when it was active. Michael's the level. Look at that for Starford. Wow. Pretty damn cool. They got a windmill. Look at all these cannonballs. Who the fuck lifted them? What are they all there for? And big mortars as well. 1800s. What war was Malta involved in? <sighs> I think the Spanish had gone by then. Look at this. But they had in pyramids, have you noticed? What if these are not cannonballs and something else? Magnets. Technology. And we just interpret them as that. These pyramids. Something inside them. Fleur de Lis. Wow. Excuse me. Right, images of the day. And I'm coming back. I have a chat with you all. And I'm going to be back tomorrow. It's going to be very exciting. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. My new channel. Our new channel. Tell me what you think about the title. It looks pretty funky. Can't have too many Martin Leakers. In fact, I've Britishes. Got five channels now. It's a bit weird. Shame I can't get them all onto one channel. That would be epic. It's have like 40,000 subs eh? Oh, that'd be good. Cool. Anyway. I'm back. I've been through a trial. They just held my channel for eight months. For no reason whatsoever. And I'll release it on um, basically a reset. So I've got a feeling they want me to talk. Right, we've seen that. Okay. Talk I fucking will. I appeal to any uh, benevolent force out there to support humanity in this terrible time in our darkest hour since ever. Yeah, that's what I do. People, flat of British people, we know the score. So this is my website, guys. Mind blowing mud flood. If you're not aware of it, yeah. And now I'm gonna get my new channel linked on it because it's not there yeah? Okay, you can get the book, which I just talked about, which tell you basically everything that's going on now in the reset cycle. All of the stuff I'm linked to, Instagram I posted on this morning, and Facebook. Things are really, really busy on these. They keep me very busy indeed. And there's um, all of our subjects, okay? But you can get a load of wealth of books if you're bored. In this resource is your guys, okay? Yeah, And my son. Okay, I'll link this. This is Welsh Dragon Metals. He's a bit prophetic as well. Before his time... Armageddon currency, recovery of metals, like precious metals, like gold and silver, for a post-apocalyptic currency, if the currency should go through, or there's hyperinflation, and you can't even buy a fucking truck full of bread, um, a loaf of bread for a thousand dollars. Like what happened in Germany, World War Two, or prior to World War Two, with the hyperinflation. So, excuse me, okay, I'm going to bring up images of the day. Really exciting. I got, I'm looking forward to tomorrow anyway. So, I was going to do the vlog now, but I'm going to be doing that tomorrow now because I'm bloody worn out. <coughs> okay, can't think what I'm doing now. Images. Okay, and we need a bit of tune. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop the volume on my uh, on my volume a minute. I'll be leaving the room a second. Okay, peace and love to you all. Love the vibration. Yay! Party, party. Really loved um, Roxanne Globalist Denier's rendition song. That was epic. I was singing along myself. I want to see more of that, you know, ex you know, consciousness expression during this time. I reckon people do super fantastic stuff in this time. Anyway, do stuff. Images. My picture was a bit big, wasn't it? Anyway, pictures with a bit of music. I'm going to select. Okay, just a second. But I'm going to drop my microphone. All right, so it doesn't bother you. And I'm going to play some images. I'm going to shoot off for a second. Okay, peace and love.
Clue what music was playing because I basically can't hear. I've got my microphone plugged in, but I trust it was okay and soothing. You know, the first one was all right. So, um, stunning images. I hope you agree. Uh, plenty more tomorrow, okay? Plenty more. So, make sure to come back. This is going to be my upload for tonight. Introduction of new channel, um, the Celtic Italian channel. You will see that linked in the chat here yeah, and in the description box make sure to subscribe okay and come over for Friday for some fun tomorrow epic as fuck okay if we're all you now getting yourself um, right inside is a big part of this guy's definitely getting yourself spiritually prepared for we don't even know what and I wouldn't be dwelling and inventing thought forms in your mind if I was you through fear it would be best to make the most of the now and enjoy what you've got and appreciate it and be grateful and have a look around okay and hopefully we all get on the other side <laughs> which would be epic okay we all super fantastic for everyone be a brave new world <laughs> be fucking brilliant anyway see you soon guys okay see you tomorrow for flat day okay spread the word make sure to share this out if you haven't if you need me martin elitica7 gmail.com that will be in the description box below thank you for all your oodles and oogles of emails and questions and support and everything else so peace and love to you all okay <laughs> keep the vibration up okay and keep on being feb epic it's the only way okay <laughs> we don't do losing on feb okay this is the resistance <laughs>